Okay. So uh, we got some good news to report here. Jesse McDougal, the Martial Arts of Money. I think it's July 4th, 2020. And we just sent our first email from Ghana. Is anyone, anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Okay. So the world of computer science. That me from the foxhole, from that little office, I was able to connect with another human being through the Lord. Seriously, like for real, I went viral on Facebook because I posted some stuff about the Lord. Boom, the spark happened, thousands of followers coming in. And so that was cool. It was like I thought my Facebook got hacked there for a second. But anyways, so uh, Richard in Ghana. So if, like I have the power to connect with anyone in the world. Anyone. I just give you power. You don't even know what I'm talking about, but I give it to you. Right? You, it's all good. I'm a man of truth and, uh, and of Jesus, right? So I'm a chartered accountant. So it's like I bring trust to the marketplace. So finally, you can relax and talk to another human being about more than one thing and probably have to pay less then because I always, I, I try to serve. I, I wanna make everything economical. So for my uh, apprentice in Ghana, so the thing is we successfully sent an email from Ghana. How does he send an email from my computer in here in BC? Well, that's proprietary. You have to pay me for that at that point, okay? There's levels to this. Wake up. Most of you guys are gonna fail. And uh, I'm here, been surviving. I'm like, you guys can't survive as long as I can. You just can't. You literally can't. It's in my DNA. I'm 90% uh, more Neanderthal than all of the humans on Earth. I'm not even bullshitting you. I got the science to prove it. So, uh, so yeah, so we got, so what happened is, uh, what's going on right now is I'm going to mentor. So my CEO mindset is I've got to get, uh, 20 installs of my software into 20 different computers. And it's once are all 20 and I want the first 20, I'm, the way the, the energy is going for me, it's telling me is it's all love, love. I'm doing something like four steps ahead more, more than most people and people just can't do what I can do. You, you just can't go viral on Facebook with writing four lines of words in an image. You just, I did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and it's like, nobody cares. So that's why I want to make this video. Cause like, I mean, I'm talking truth. I'm talking like stuff that works. I'm talking data. Like I'm a CA. I've managed millions of dollars a month, right? And so I'm short on cash. That's the thing that's been holding me back the last couple of years. But you know what? Two years ago, I said, screw it. I just shut the bricks off everything. My entire operation. That was my 2.0 operation. So my second wave of the money train. <clears throat> And it's cool, man. Making 50 grand a month is nice. Uh, you just, everybody likes you. It's just good. You find peace. It's not really like, hey, I made 50 grand. Yeah. It's just like, I find the balance, right? That's what works for me. So, uh, but here's the thing about my friend in, uh, in Ghana. Like four days ago, he didn't know HTML. And he also doesn't have a toilet. But he can send an email because he's got a laptop. And the interesting thing about Richard was, uh, so as it went viral on Facebook, like you gotta remember, like there's thousands of people adding me, right? I have hundreds of messages on top of the high data workload that I already do in my company, right? I have like infinite amount of email addresses that I manage. And so, and you want, you want an email address? I'll make you an email address. So uh, send me a message, leave a comment, tell me if you want an email address and I'll make you an email address. Tell me what you want your first name to be, your from name. Tell me that and it'll give you a choice of domains that you can uh, use. For example, like jessemcdougall.com. So if you wanted to be like, 
I'm from blah, 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 at jessemcdeal.com, you can be. And I can do that for a bunch of other domains too. All from my computer with one command line. And that's, I guess that's pretty much close to uh, taking my wizard wand and just, and that's the magic part that just um, blows my mind the computers and why I love what I do, right? So I don't do things for the money. I, I've been very strategic and frugal and dedicated and hardworking uh, with my decisions I've made in life. But uh, yeah, for sure, I don't, I don't care about money. What do you money for? Why does it make sense? <laughs> it's like you got, but uh, but I'm sitting on stacks though too, right? I own like you know properties. I got a real estate company, so you gotta own you gotta own assets. So it doesn't matter if you're in. When I first moved into uh, affiliate marketing, people were like, oh, pick your niche. And <laughs> some people I'm listening to, and then I'm like, we why? I'm sending 100 million emails a day across like every niche in the entire industry and making money from all of them. Well, I'm gonna pick a niche. I don't see how like you don't even. I know you don't make 50 grand a month. Like you're gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> and so I never got like confrontational like that. But now that I look back, it's just you're. Just, I'm just trying to meet other people. I don't understand that not everyone's been an auditor, not everyone's been in a charter account, not everyone has been has managed two million dollars. A month in cash but I don't know that I'm just figuring out I just because the way I am is like I treat everyone the same I, I think that um, they know what I know that way they're we're, we're on the same wavelength and then like we can just grow and work together and become like that's what a team is a championship team and so I've been on multiple sports championship teams high-level stuff we're not going to go into like how cool I am or whatever, but like I was the football captain type guy here. What I'm talking about is just who I am and it's okay. If there's a lot of dudes like that and uh, I don't really care about that identity stuff, but the thing I, I need to come out and talk to everyone about is identity crisis. And it's very, it's an interesting issue. We're seven minutes in. Okay. I'll get into it because if you are listening, this will be good. Okay, identity. That's why I bought it's this one domain called onepov.org. And it was from your first person view. Get all humans on earth. Write whatever they want. Just at their point of view. Just write everything their point. The whole f um, philosophy of that is I want to get people to write their point of view. Because when they write, they heal themselves inside. Their minds get smarter. They're, they overcome, they get their anger out in a positive way, in a productive way. So that's pretty sweet. And so I, I, I didn't really start writing till a few months, a few years ago. I think maybe two years ago I started writing a lot. I've always been in school and uh, I'm, again, so I'm like the highest academic you can get. Oh, there's more and whatever. Like, oh, you what, you what. I had a convertible BMW. You got a Lambo? Okay, you make, is that, you want to get tough with me? Like, I'll break your jaw, dude, in under two minutes. Like, do not go there. That's not the place you want to be, bud. I'll tell you that right now. I know how much, how much digital money you have. And people will feel that. And it's nothing new to me because I'm trained to do this for 20 years. <laughs> you know, and this is who I am. So this is the protection side that I bring to business. Like you're scared going to a business meeting. You bring powerhouse. You're not scared anymore. You feel confident. You feel like you can take this deal and close this deal and do whatever you got to do. Because that's what I bring. Nothing but AAA intelligence. So, uh. So yeah, that's great. But here's the thing: my buddy and in, in, uh, my apprentice in Ghana doesn't have a toilet. Like what? Like you know what I mean? Like people are literally listen to me. I'm not even joking. If you actually give a shit about what I'm talking about, okay? Is people are messaging me on my phone? They don't have money for food. Two days ago, I saw an article from a girl in some country in. Africa, she killed her four children with poison because she had no food to feed her children. Why don't we just get them more food? Like, seriously, what the fuck is going on? My brother uh, is a fucking pilot, okay? I'll fucking manage the money. We get the supplies, bring them food, done. 
Like, what else is there to talk about? The Scots are here, okay? The McNeils and the McDougal have made a pact. We are an alliance. And that's true. That's what's happening in my life. Um, and one of my reasons why I picked uh, my girlfriend, because she was a Scot, right? She just gets it. Like, I know, like, I'm quirky, and we all have our, like, things we're not good about and our bad stuff and that kind of stuff all our negatives and we all that's normal that's normal we're not perfect homo sapiens like the homo sapiens a thousand years from now their energy is going to be a lot more normalized how many homo sapiens do you think a thousand years from now are going to know high income skills like powerhouses teaching probably a lot that's why I'm teaching it. It makes money, right? Like these skills that I can possess. It's like I can show you jujitsu, but does that mean you're going to give me an arm bar? Probably not, dude. I'm probably going to smash you in the face and beat you like most guys I've beaten in jujitsu of the hundred matches I've had. I'm not being tough guy, I'm just being myself, which is tough guy. Toughest guy at the barbecue. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, but pretty much end of the day though, for me, uh, is I just, I don't really, ever since I was a kid, I, I was like, you know, money, money, this money. Cause I grew up with nothing, right? Like, I don't want to say nothing. I had, I've been extremely fortunate. Don't get me wrong, but you know what I mean, right? Like you just wanted to buy the markers. My mom couldn't buy the markers. What are markers? Markers you color with things in school. My mom couldn't buy them. Why? She just couldn't afford it. The money wasn't there. And my mom's a Scot, right? She's good with money. She knows how to like, you know, just didn't make enough. And uh, that's kind of the phase I'm in too. I just, you know, I'm just not making enough. But here's the thing with me is uh, I apply a 30 year mindset to like my everything basically. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've always done that. I don't know where I got it from. That's more of the stoic, general, strategic, because it's math at the end of the day um, along the entrepreneurship path. It's like, which is crazy for me, is like taking, it goes in waves for me, but taking less, one of the lessons I've been learning lately is taking less action actually produces more results. <laughs> It doesn't make sense because <laughs> I just want to like dig the ditch and plow the wheat and whatever, you know, and push the sleigh. Uh, I'm a powerhouse that way. I just like working. I love working. And that's where I start to lose my market value in terms of like the corporate world because like I sometimes I, I don't want to turn it off. Like I just want to do the work. I want to be a good boy. Just tell me good job. You know what I mean? And I'm good. I'll go home. Great. Done. And it's not about money. It's just about fulfillment. It's about fulfillment, so I don't I don't like these videos when they're like, oh don't you this guy dropped out and made this much. Like you're like, don't like glorify someone who dropped out of university. That's not a good thing. Like I don't know where you think on like what you're trying to sell and that's your your hook to the market. Like that is just a bad message. It's just a bad message. So um what I've learned a lot of a lot of times too is because a lot of my uh my apprentices, a couple Okay, so I'm good with pattern recognition. So the apprentices, they're like, it's like they've they got this, like they want to be hackers. They just want to like hack stuff. I did a, a post on YouTube there last week or a couple of days ago. And just everyone wanted to hack and hack. It's like, stop. Like, what are you doing? What are you trying to achieve? Have you even thought of your goal? What is your goal, son? You're trying to hack what? And you just want to like, they just want to like go in a room, put on a cloak and a wizard hat and like, just code, bro. Like, you're getting me code, bro. So you don't need to code, bro, any more days. What you need is to know me is the first thing. And the second thing you need to learn is how to be a Linux systems administrator. And that is a whole progression on its own and a whole career path on the loan. And it's one thing. But it's an important thing in the powerhouse method. And that's what I do. So, like, when guys are, like, they don't listen to my knowledge and my instructions, they lose their value. So, for now, as the apprentice come in... I mean, you know, just, I'm pretty cool, easy dude. But if you're like, like this one apprentice, he's like <laughs> talking about his specialties and he's just trying to like, he was just talking, you know, doing his thing. He's 23, I'm 40, right? I'm like thinking in my head, I'm like, 
you're 23, you don't have a specialty and like you don't even make any money. So you don't have a specialty, okay? So just stop. <laughs> I didn't say that to him because I'm like, I'm pretty powerhouse as it is. Just so I kind of know when to pull off the brakes and whatever and give someone else another chance. And that's a huge sign of a leader is when you can put the spotlight on other people. And I've always done that organically, okay? But I've also studied it and read it. But, um, but yeah, it's great. So with, uh, I was thinking with Richard, I'm like, I got like a guy actually, because before I've hired like 200 people in my career in internet marketing, right? And so, but like, you got to understand like the cadence that I'm marching to, 50 Gs a month, like the money machine that you're running is just like dialed into like the UFC mode of like a professional MMA fight. It's no joke. Like it's not like check this out and check that out. And it's like, no, it's like boom, 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 hustle. You got to like work that money train, right? So you build a money machine, then you got to work it, right? So, but I don't want to work in my business. I want to work on my business. Exactly. Sometimes you're going to work in, sometimes you're going to work on just go with the energy, embrace the um, spirit of the coyote, which I've embraced here in the, in, the fox, in the foxhole. I call this house the foxhole. I got six other ones. But this is the one that we decided to, to be, uh, like this is gonna be home base. We're just gonna like chill and whatever. And we've been in here for about two years now. And uh, it's been good and I'm, I found peace. I'm a little like, I, everything's working how it's working but it was pretty tough there for a while so no matter what where you are in your entrepreneur path you're gonna go through phases where you're you're just like like seriously you think you might die like you might actually commit suicide and people do like this is like you know and the stress the financial stress the credit takes on you and that's so for me i've chosen to stay small and i want to stay small and just make massive bags of cash than versus being big in this like publicly traded company and like do all these Forbes for like, and why? Because I represent the silent majority of white collar entrepreneurs. We don't want to talk, right? So a lot of, I represent a lot of like white collar money. Like the fact that I'm talking like this or whatever pisses people off. Guys are like, well, I, I won't do business with him because he's talking. Like, I'm representing truth. I'm not re representing deceptions of profits or threats of profits here. And at the end of the day, too, like if you don't know what I'm talking about ever, like, and like you just, and it's okay, you're not going to, most of you, like. <laughs> And guys that do, they're like, what's with this guy? Or, or the, I think they'll just see that uh, I'm just a man on my path. And so, yeah. And I can confidently say all this stuff too. This is not like I'm not high. I'm not drinking booze. Like, you know what I mean? We just, okay, so the purpose of this whole podcast was to... Okay, so we've sent from Ghana. We've sent from Puerto Rico. We've sent from Canada. And I think that's it. I think India's up next. India should be in the next couple days. And uh, we got Nigeria on hold right now, and she, I think she's screwed. I think she's screwed. She's only got a mobile phone, too, so I feel bad for this girl. She, uh, her name's Frances in Nigeria. I don't even know how she came be in the pipes. This was before I went viral. But uh, she went and tried to get a VPS, and it took her three weeks. Okay, I can get a VPS in 10 minutes. <laughs> but it's not, if you, like, I don't value things like that, right? All I'm saying is go get a VPS. If she comes back to me in five years, okay, boom, give you my software. Done. Okay, good job. Good job. You did so good. I'm so glad you got it done. And uh, it doesn't matter that it took you five years. What matters is to, you got it done. Because the job you got done today is a job that most people don't even know how to do. Now you're suddenly more valuable to the marketplace because you can do something other people can't do. And that's how it works. And so with my 20 apprentices here, these are like my like, I, you know, this is the experience, Jesse, right? Like this is like the, I live through my heart and the love. I'm just like, I want to save the world and you know, like that kind of stuff. And, uh, 
but I got the 20 apprentices, then I'm gonna charge money for the powerhouse method. It's gonna be thousand bucks to enter. But before I talk about the thousand bucks to enter, and because I know we'll get there. I don't need to talk about that now, because I know like six months from now, I'll probably be talking about the powerhouse method a lot, making sales. But before that, before I make those sales and take your money and like get rich and you guys are jealous because I got rich, just please remember that I invested, you know, six months to a year training 20 other guys that have nothing, that live in poverty. Remember, Richard doesn't have a toilet. He takes his kids to the public facilities twice a day. He's 39, he sweeps the shops, he learns HTML, he learns high, in high income skills of powerhouse, and he's winning. He successfully sent an email. How much did he make? It's not the point. You're missing the whole point. You have gold fever, you need to calm down. I'm telling you right now, Richard doesn't have a toilet. This shit is important, especially all you tech guys that make massive bags of money and you got your like whatever and do and do, and you're like, you know, all that kind of stuff. I can like the stock market is not the place you want to invest your money. Get your money out of there right now. I'm telling you right now, I can make you more money than the stock market. I make more return on investment. Actually, that is fact. I can make you give me money, I'll return you more money than the stock market will return you every year for the rest of my life. End of story. Not even, like that's fact. That's my real estate company for the past six years. So anyways, sorry for chirping there a bit, but uh, I just got to get, get that leadership out, right? Remember, I'm a leader too, so I'm coming here. Like I'm growing as well. We're all in the same field here, man. We all got the same... Uh, basic human emotions and three are negative and three are positive so for me i just deflectively filter and block the three negative emotions which is peaceful powerful and joyful i only allow as best as i can the buddhist in me is to focus on peaceful powerful joyful and i teach this in my methods especially when we start writing emails okay so all my meant apprentices we write we write even though i have software that automates this and does it way better than we, we can, I still make them write. Why? Because just do it. You write with your heart, we'll see how many clicks comes in with your email creative, right? Your email creative sucks or it doesn't suck. People click it on or they don't. And the coolest things with the email creative, it's only really my best stuff that I've written, four lines, just tick, tack, toe, check mark. So anyways, so going on to more international phase here is I really do. I want to get my goal for all the ninjas is to get them converting one conversion. If I show you to get one conversion under the powerhouse method and you complete the powerhouse method and I sign off with my uh, high income initials, dude, you are like, probably get you a job. And that's where I was starting to think about selling slaves and stuff <laughs> like they do back in the, the Roman day or just slavery and selling slaves. Except this time I'm selling my apprentices. I'm going to say, I can tell you they've done this, 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 this. And they'll look at me and like, oh, that guy's awesome. He keep, these kids must be awesome. Probably better than we're getting off link fucking indeed or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just bring in value to the marketplace because I know I'm teaching high income skills. So high income skills has been in my blood for 20 years. And uh, I'm starting to notice that. So like when you're out there and stuff, if you are ambitious uh, on this side, which if you're still listening, you probably are. Is that just listen, there's going to be When the wisdom and experience kicks in, you're going to be able to recognize high-income conversation versus low-income conversation. When you can recognize high-income versus low-income conversation, okay, dude, you're getting, you're getting good. That's like your blue belt level now. So that's super important if you just... Uh, Sit back. Okay, so Richard doesn't have a toilet. But yeah, so I was thinking, why not get everyone in every country around the world before I go for the powerhouse method? 
I won't do that. It'll be kind of, of a combination, but that's in my head now, like in my heart too. Because I, to be honest, I believe I'll go down in the history books, especially when I get my, uh, I get nominated into the Northwestern Ontario Hall of Fame uh, for sports for becoming a European Muay Thai champion. That'll be cool. So with that, and then I, I've actually trained out of love a person in every country across the world for my computer in the other room. Um, I mean, like, like, I guess you just dominate everyone at that point, right? You're in the elite of the elite. So, I don't know. It's just, but and the, the crazy thing is I could, I could easily do that. And what do I do? I just sit here, sit on my phone, talk to people on the internet. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm kind of, I don't say I'm happy for COVID, but my life's definitely improved uh, and come together a lot because of COVID. Okay, I'm going to show you the beast, okay? This is the beast. You can see we've got two SSD hard drives right there. Those are SSDs. Those things are lightning fast. I used to have to configure it in a RAID 0. It's just down to RAID 1. This one's almost full. This one's, uh, I think, empty. Down here, I just made my RAID 5 yesterday uh, for that. And then I got three different books here. I'll show you these books, I guess. Okay, there's three different books. There's this, because the energy goes in phases, okay? And as a martial artist and an athlete, I recognize this stuff over the decades. So we have quality means doing it right when no one is looking, Henry Ford, and that is a fact. And so this is one of my first, so let's just open up. We won't take too long in here. So this is my office, some stuff I want for an office. Mailer traits, requirements. I want these guys, to, oh, here's some good stuff. Math test, programming test, like nah, it's just, just do the powerhouse test. And here's all the people I wanted to have on for my podcast. Podcast, topics, guests. Okay, so anyways, I've got three books here. This is, and this one's The Foxhole. Yeah, so I've got Offensive Framework, and this is like me pushing, like, we got to go offensive. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. This one's tight. This one's cool, man. This was sweet. Okay, so this one. Got to make a million dollar funnel, okay? So weight loss is... I can do weight loss, okay? And I'm... For many reasons. And I bought eight... Just through my creative organic energy, I bought eight weight loss domains. Eight makes an octagon. And so when I found that out, I was fucking pumped because I am an expert in the octagon. I will beat anyone in the octagon except a professional fighter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a professional fighter would be like, yeah, it's a good move. <laughs> so yeah, so the weight loss industry, $66 billion cap. And so the mission of the uh, Marsh, no, sorry, this is Orca Nutrition or just any weight loss brand, uh, which is like the superioreatingsystem.com. That's what India is representing. Lose a million kilograms. Help Earth by helping people lose weight. The superior eating system. That's great. That's great. Okay, then we had this one here, the foxhole. And I knew I was coming to this place, like this house I live in now. This is like totally, I'm totally isolated, right? But yet it's so peaceful. <laughs> One sec. Yeah, so this was more of a, just pure writing, this book. There's good stuff in here. Let's see here. And so from time to time, I read these over it again, right? Like I go back, these are like my wizard books. So uh, yeah, you go back and, and read those and you're going to find, if you find you're writing a lot like that, like, that's good. It's not anything to be aware of, uh, strange of. And don't let anyone make fun of you. Like my, I don't want to throw my woman under the bus because it's like a bad thing to do on the internet. But 
well, she just doesn't understand it, right? She's like, oh, you're like doing what the guy does on Beautiful Mind. I'm like, cool, he won a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> like, like, let me do what I'm doing. <laughs> so, but uh, but if you're doing stuff like that, like you're unique, okay? So there's probably some different, you're probably a similar to me or unique. And uh, it's one unique person to recognize another unique person. And that's why I like affluent people because you just kind of get it. But at the end of the day, where's the money coming from, right? So, and then let's wrap it up here. But I really do want to get, um, uh, I do really want to get someone who's in, just has nothing, just a complete degenerate or whatever. And I want to train them and build them and get them a conversion in the country, in every country across the world. And that's something I can do because I think there's what, 100, 200 countries? Okay, fine, no problem. Right, I, I need, I'm short on cash a little bit. So I need some guys to put in some cash. I gotta work these current guys that, that I got and then boom, like take their profits or something and then put them into profits of other people or something, I don't know, you know what I mean? That's the creative part we can get and I get to do as a CEO when I control all the pieces to the money train. So the good thing with me is if you're ever in business, you're probably not gonna lose money, right? Like CAs don't really lose money. And so especially when they have a track record of making money. Okay, great guys. Okay, well, I hope you had this and I just threw it all out there. And uh, yeah, definitely not being abrasive or arrogant or anything like that. This is just who I am. And I need to speak. I've been locked in a box for two years, which is cool. I mean, I prefer not to be, I prefer playing on teams, but now I'm like, okay, I'm building the team again for the third time in affiliate marketing. Powerhouse. Oh, oh, if you could do, I do need a favor though. Uh, mic drop. I do need a favor. I need you to uh, press subscribe in this video. Okay, man, think of the value that I just gave you in 30 minutes, dude. Come on. Press subscribe on the damn thing. And the reason why is I don't care if, I'm not, I don't care about you getting my alerts when I post shit like that. I don't care if you watch my stuff. I just want to get to a thousand viewers. That way I can go live on YouTube and I can do this in more of a manner of like structured and, you know, CEO level that I would prefer versus just random video to the internet. <laughs> That's what I do, just throwing shit at the wall, see what sticks. But yeah, if you could subscribe to that, uh, the YouTube channel, help me get to a, a thousand subscribers and you can do your part making a great place and you'll be con you'll honestly be co contributing to like open source uh, communities, right? So I'm an all open source guy. So people are like, what do you do? I'm like, it's called proprietary. <laughs> you can't Google it. Anyways, guys, great. Take care.